again. Guess who's back? Back again. Shady's back. Tell your friends. This is the finishing for the Red Dazzle Quilt from Pastry Shop Quilts. She did gift this to me. Thank you, Sherry Amore. I'm doing the 63 inch. Um, this is time, the walrus said, to speak of many things, of sashing, cornerstones, of rows and lengths. That's all we're doing today, guys. Let's see, I shouldn't even need this, sucker. What is wrong with me? I really don't even know. Okay, I cut all my pieces. We got all this sashing. We got all these cornerstones. First thing we're gonna do is put one sashing on one side of every single block. I'm gonna link Pastry Shop Quilts down below, guys, in the description box. She has tons of super affordable, super cute quilt kits, and she has a subscription box that I box called Box of Treats. Check her out. Oh, I do have a 15% off coupon for this quilt kit, too. It'll all be down in the description box. Now, four, how many of these? One. I guess I do need to look at the instructions again. I don't I? We're going to have four rows of four. So four of these blocks are going to have sashing on both sides. Because they're the beginning, the beginning one. I'm probably going to have to pull out my extension table here pretty soon. Also, in the instructions, she called for us, I think, to use this fabric for all of our cornerstones. Um, and I used it for some of my other blocks. So I made my cornerstone scrappy style out of all the red, she said. Because I do what I want. I also cut my binding, which I haven't sewn together yet. But she just sent us binding with this day. I'll show you in just a second. We'll, we'll, well, we'll do the binding together, too, if we have time. I'll show you how I sew my binding strips together. My squares are all uh, like an eighth of an inch too big. I'm promptly ignoring it, though as I do with most of my mistakes. It's not happening. this stuff. I do, I do. I like it, I got it, I want some more. I try so hard, I can't cross a moment. Don't know what it is about that little girl's love. But I like it, I love it, I want some more of it. Today is my Friday, TGIW. I'm sewing this on Wednesday. So 
Yeah, that's probably why I'm so excited right now. <laughs> yes! Time for quilting. Like a mad woman. We'll be able to get this finished in one video because it should be pretty straightforward, you know. But we'll see. We shall see. I'm probably going to start um, the quilt, the block of the month program that comes in her subscription boxes where she's got us doing a mystery Christmas quilt box. Um, I'm getting a kit from there and I'm going to, as soon as I get the kit in, I'm going to start that block of the month because I've, she sent us two already. So I'll need to catch up. I'm so excited. It's so stinking cute. So far, what we've seen. Of course, we don't know what the rest of the blocks are, but so far we've got reindeer blocks and tree blocks. It looks like it's done with solids, but I'm not sure. When that kit comes in, I'll go over it with y'all. Oh, just what I need, right? Another block of the month to work on. <laughs> right now, I literally have 11 works in progress. Most of which are blocks of the month. I love me a block of the month though. Love them. As soon as we wrap this up, we'll start another bigger quilt project too. sashing on the end pieces. <sighs> oh, I get to read tonight to my Sam Sam too? This is just an awesome day. We've finished um, big the little house in the woods and we'll, we'll spread one chapter of Farmer Boy, so we 
we get to continue Farmer Boy tonight, which is my favorite in the series. And I love when y'all give me book recommendations. Please keep that up because I've been putting them on my list. Um, on my Libby. I wish I could remember who gave me what, but um, the ones who have told me books, I, I have put them all on my Libby and I plan to read them. I love some good books. So tell me your favorites. Doesn't matter the genre, really. If it, you think it's an awesome book, it's one of your faves, let me know. I used to read strictly, um, really drama, which I still love. Those kind of just novels, just dramatic novels. And now I'm really into mysteries and thrillers. But I like so many different kinds of books. Except I don't, I have yet to really dig romance. Like I have read some books that have romance in them, but it's more of dra drama or comedy or dramatic comedy. You know, like Ann Tyler I love or one of my favorite books, Heartburn. Remember the movie with Meryl Streep and Jack Nicholson? Um, that book? Is that Ann Tyler too? I love that book. I love Accidental Tourist. Stuff like that. Little Children. Um, ordinary People. And some of my dramatic faves. I read a lot of um, what the heck is his name? He wrote World According to Garp and Owen Meany, John Irving. I've read almost all of his books. I hated, though, the Connecticut one. Yeah, they actually made a movie of it with Jody. I think it was Jody Foster and Rob Lowe and um, Bo Bridges. Something like oh my, it was the most disturbing movie and book I've ever read, and I will do not read it, y'all. Don't don't read it. I can't remember the freaking Hotel New Hampshire. Hotel. Why did I say California? They had a dancing Russian bear in it, and rape and incest, and it was just so disturbing. And I dig some disturbing things now. I can read, I can read some disturbing books and like, oh, not this one. <laughs> it's too much. It was too much. Oh, oh, so bad. I was reading the final you in the end, a book that I had almost finished previously, but Libby took it back before I could finish. Just came back available after like two months. So I switched to it to finish it, which is, I think it's called The Only One or The One and Only or, one, no, 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 I'm sorry, One by One is what it's called and it's by Riley Sager and I was like four hours from the end of it I thought it was closer than that but I'm finally getting to maybe finish that and then I'll go back to the U and finish it I read as much as I quilt if y'all can believe that which I listen to audio I listen to audiobooks I should say because I can do that while I'm doing other things a lot of fantasy which is funny because my absolute favorite books of all time are Harry Potter 
It's just total fantasy. So I do dig some, but it's not my favorite genre. But a good book's a good book, right? A good book's a good book. And when I find a book I like, I usually read everything the author has done. There's another nine patch for my quilt on the side. I forgot to mention that again. Quilts on the side. You'll see me doing those from time to time. I use them as leaders and enders. I'm making an Irish chain out of one and a half inch scraps. And let me get all these pressed because that's going to take me a hot minute. We're pressing, I believe she said to press to the sashing. Let me double check. Yes, press towards the background strips. Okay, these are the, f I pulled out the four that I'm going to, are going to be at the end for the extra sashing on the other side of it. So just this beginning block on each row is going to have sashing on both ends. with tonight's posting, you'll notice, because I haven't finished this. It is like 6 o'clock now, the time this is supposed to be going up, so obviously it's going to be late. We had, I had a bunch of errands today. Both the kids had their yearly doctor appointments in Jonesboro, which is about, their doctor is about 40 minutes from here. So then, of course, we had to go to Outback afterwards and eat. We had such a good time. I had such a good time with them today. We laughed so much. Eating. We were probably there two hours at Outback, just laughing and goofing and eating. And then Sam, I took, had to take Sam to the DMV to get um, an ID since he doesn't have his driver's license yet. He just needed a regular ID for his ACT test. And then of course I had to go to the post office. I got a bunch of unboxings I need to do tonight as well. And I thought, oh Lord, I better hurry up in here and finish this. I'm usually off on Thursday, so that's Thursdays are my errands day. I didn't get to eat lunch with Mama today like I usually do, because I had to take kids to the doctor. I did see my Janie for a little bit though. She came over before I left this morning. Janie's my stepmom, if I don't know. I'm hoping we can... I've got so many sew with me's I need to put up, or I need to do, not put up. I'm not ahead of myself at all, but I'm hoping we can get this in one. Should be able to. I should have set up my extension table. I'm gonna do that before I start sewing these into rows. I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, so the first square in our line is gonna be one of these next to a panel. And remember there's four in each line so we'll make a bunch of sets of two. So we I'll turn you off. Okay. It'll be you know you put in a panel piece with a fabric piece.
They both had clean bills of health after their appointments. And I'm doing the anchor and adjust method <clears throat> versus pinning. Of course, you can pin if you want to. That's up to you. Next one. Oh, don't forget the new line's got to start with the doubles. The double sashing. Next one is going to be a panel piece first. Oh, we still have to do this. I was saying him that we're. I was thinking it's going to be quicker than it is. I forgot we still need to do the sashing in between the rows. And those that's with the cornerstones. I probably will pin when we get to that. Since it's pieced sashing. Quit sticking. Next row, remember start with the double sash. Press that weird there. I've got a big kink line. Let me fix that. There.
I think we're on the last row now. Double sash. Oh, my Frankenstein box coming up. My Frankenstein square that I had to piece together because I ran out of fabric. Whoopsie doopsie. Whoopsie doopsie. Killing me to die. I'm gonna throw it in my belly. It is acting up. Can't even bend over hardly. It hurts so bad. cut apart and press them and I'll be back. Okay. Guess who's back? <laughs> back again. We can start putting our rows together. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? I had still a turn the fan towards me and now it's blowing my fabric everywhere. onion for an appetizer. I had bottomless soup and salad and I started off with the salad with Thousand Island and their potato soup which is so good. And then I was really full but I went ahead and asked for to try their chili because they have this Tunisian chili and they say it's spicy. Tis not. Tis not. I would say maybe a 0.1% spicy. It, I didn't like it though. It had chunks. In theory, it looked like it'd be good. It had chunks of actual steak, not ground hamburger meat in it, which was cool. Um, but uh, other than that, I really didn't dig it. And then we had a blooming onion appetizer. And. Stella had Alice Springs chicken, which was I've had before, off their plates. Uh, it was del delicious. And then Sam had, oh, he had the Alice Springs chicken sandwich. <laughs> they ate all theirs. They didn't like the french fries, neither one of them, though. Oh, and then we had a dessert we all shared, which we didn't even eat all that either. The th thunder from down under. So we had quite a feast happening.
So after I sew these four together, we have to um, sew together our sashing strips. to a, ten, a tennis shoe place, Hibbit Sports, for Stella wants some new shoes. She did not find the one she was really wanting in there, but we did find out what size she needs, because we weren't sure, you know. She's in that awkward stage between she can wear both youth and adult, you know, there's a crossover point. Um, so I ordered them online once we found out her shoe size. She ordered these um, like purple and white Nike high tops. What ifs? Are they Air Force ones? Maybe I can't remember. Um, I don't know. I don't know these shoes. I do know they were Nike and the high tops, and they had purple and white color on them. That's all I can tell you. Okay. I'm going to cut these apart, press them, and then I'll come back to do our sashing. Okay, we have to make five sashing rows total. Four of these white strips go into one sashing row and five of these red blocks. Now, only one of them is going to have the red blocks on each end. The rest just one side. So, we'll do the last four at the end. but I'm going to sew all of these with the red block. y'all's day. I told you all about mine. My posting was all over the place today too and I'm so sorry. I meant I meant for that five foot phone when you go up before I left for my errands and then I totally forgot once I did. I had it all ready to go and never just made it public. I was so frustrated when I got home. Usually I try to stick to the 6, 637 postings, but life gets in the way sometimes.
Just a little roller coaster. <coughs> Look like you. <coughs> Dang it. Will surely come my way. Hey, hey. Uh, hey, hey. Why am I to got two over here? I should only have four left and I have six, so. Oh, oh we'll see if I've not made enough, I guess, when we start putting them together. I'm gonna go ahead. Well, how many rows did I say? Five. Oh, so I need five. There's one extra. These five. I'm gonna have one on both sides. got one extra. I hope I'm not missing a sashing. All right, let me cut these apart and press them. Okay. I didn't have <laughs> this one of these had fell on the floor. So that's why I had an extra one. I picked it up and now we're moving and grooving again. Okay, the first one, we've got four of these in each row, so the first one's going to have two on it, two cornerstones, the rest just one. Thank you. 
making funny noises. I think she wants to be rethreaded. She always does that before she breaks a thread. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do a preemptive strike. One thing about old Buffy, she'll tell you she's not happy. She sure will. She's not shy about it. Where are you, Buffy? There we go. All right, cut, press. Really? Y'all, the whole time I wasn't recording, and I just pushed record when I was done. So, what you missed, not much. I just sewed the two pieces together. You know, finished the sashing. That's all. So sorry. What a maroon. Alright, with these rows, the sashing's going to go on one side of each row. And one of the rows will have the sashing on both sides. I'm going to start this willy-nilly with no pinning and see how horrible that is. Hopefully it turns out perfect. We'll see. I'm throwing caution to the wind. If I see that it's going too far south, like here, it definitely is. I'll fix that in production. in this extension table. Brigitte! Brigitte! Got this for me. Brigitte Bardot. So I'll tell you again, I knocked the crap out of my toes last night. It was the hardest I have ever jammed my toes before. The pain radiated for, felt like 10 hours. It was probably more like a minute. And I screamed like a banshee. I was coming out of the bathroom and on the door frame hit four out of my five toes. Just my big toe survived. I hit that sucker so hard, my big toe burst forth from my sock. <laughs> That's how hard I hit that wall. My big toe was sticking out of my sock. Oh, it's, it's fine today. I was afraid I broke them because last night the ring, my ring toe, that one, was black. It turned black. And it hurt. I, could, I was wobbling around everywhere, and I thought, I have broke my freaking toe. But today, when I woke up, it was fine. I mean, it's still black. And it would hurt, you know, if I squeezed it or something. But I walked around all day today in my shoes, and um, no pain. So, yay! <laughs> and, y'all, I have zero pain tolerance. Like, no 
I'm a wuss. Even when I get massages, I go, ow! I mean, those even hurt me. I'm a wuss. So, it was like, it was as bad as labor pains, is what I'm going to say. Which I handled horribly as well. <laughs> Poor people. Yeah, you know, he follows me everywhere. Of course he follows me to the bathroom, too. Always. Usually he leaves the bathroom before I do, though. Um, but for some reason, this time he was behind me. And I didn't even realize it till I was rolling around in my bed for about, you know, two minutes screaming in agony. He, he peeks his head out of the bathroom, just traumatized, terrified to even come out. I scared the crap out of him. He wouldn't come to me for the rest of the night. That's how loud I screamed. <laughs> I couldn't imagine the dramatics that would come forth from me. Yes, ma'am. Guess what happens in five years? Five years, you'll be graduating. Yeah. And you're gonna be? 55. Well, right now I'm 49, but I'm almost 50. I'll be 50 in August. What's happening within one year? What? What's happening within one year? You'll be in eighth grade. Um, we'll have we'll be going to Universal Studios and SeaWorld. Yeah. And that's all. So we're doing it. Sam graduates next month. Yeah. What'd you do if you walked up to Pico and you started to pet him and you puked all over your bed? I would start cursing. Did you tell him how you stubbed your toe? Yeah, I just told him about it. Where did you stub your toe? On the door frame coming out of the bathroom. I just found a mistake I made, y'all. I sewed it the wrong side up. This will be a quick fix. No harm, no foul. Oh, shit. What the heck is wrong with me? Oh, God. I'm so confused right now. How the heck do I do this? This is so awkward. Okay, this way. There. 
Finally. Suggesting it as I go. Hi. So far, so good. I'm going to cut these two off because so I don't have a lot of bulk back here. Making a Top Gun 3 now. I didn't even watch Top Gun 2 though. <laughs> People don't really care about it. I don't care about it. I like the first one alright. I'm just not a huge action picture fi fan. this one off and make this my one with two on it. This is lining up really good, y'all. They didn't have Alice Springs chicken. 
they had the crispy chicken with the marmalade sauce or whatever the sauce that the blooming onion comes with. That's what they had. That one screams, I think, is that chicken with the cheese and peppers and mushrooms or something on it, isn't it? I've never had that. Bloomin', they had the bloomin' chicken. That's what it is. My bad. First row is gonna be a solid star. so quickly and easily. She's going to be a stunner, I tell ya. It's down in the description box, though, for 15% off this kit. And all the other colors, she sent me, I have lots left over. So I think it was just a mishap with the, the dots being a little short. Or my or me cutting badly or something, I don't know. But the rest have lots extra, so. Alright, 
now I'm gonna press these and I'll be back. Right, so here's the first row. Attach it to my second. Wait. Wait. Why am I always confusing myself? Um. There we go. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Y'all know this is my least favorite part of all of quilting is doing, putting it together. This does help a lot though, this bridge. It surely does. This bridge, this extension table. I call it bridge because it's from Brigitte. I'm just lining up these. Excuse me. Oh, shoot. That was so not good. Let's try that again. It's like an eighth of an inch. Third line. I kind of messed up where my sashing is, so I can't do two by two. I had to rearrange a little bit. Put my sashing on the wrong side of one of these, so no harm, no foul. I just moved it to the top. But the hiccup is I have to put these on one at a time. See me mine on sewing, so doesn't really matter. I 
would much rather do that than rip an entire sashing row and re-sew it to the other side and then come back and do the same amount of sewing I would have done. Anyway, work smarter, not harder. That's my new motto. That's my new motto. late watching this one. It is so late. Maybe you'll just watch it <laughs> This is why I like to be at least a day ahead of scheduling. Because life gets in the way sometimes and it doesn't work out. But after I finish this, I'm going to keep working. I'm going to start another for tomorrow, so I won't be in a time crunch again, hopefully. Thank goodness it wasn't too bad, y'all. <laughs> My bobbin's out. It wasn't too bad. No. Cover. Here it is.
put the sashing on the wrong side. I just sewed the two middle pieces together before I put the two end pieces on. That's how I messed that up. ripping apart. My seams going a little astray on that. Okay. Now this will be, now we're going to put the last row on. Then we'll find This is it. <laughs> it's wrestling I'm doing here. You must seem on one of these pieces, one of these cornerstones was coming apart. I haven't, I don't think I've ran into it yet. Hopefully this seam will take care of that. I can hold it together good at the point. Ripage must be on the bottom.
<laughs> Let me get her finished pressing and we'll take a look at her. There she is, guys. Isn't she pretty? <laughs> I like it. I love it. Some more of it. Yeah, y'all tell me what you think down below. Thanks again to, to Pastry Shop Quilts for sending this over. She's a beauty. She's a lady. Whoa, 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 she's a lady. What do y'all think? Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you like to watch Sew With Me's. I'll see y'all at the next one.